In this video I'll be talking about the first final version of the Z-axis and tool holder. Hello and welcome back. Today is January the 1st, 2017 and I wish everyone a Happy New Year. I hope that you had a great year. I hope that you'll have another great year and to everyone I wish you all the very best. Now today's video is about the first final version of the tool holder and z-axis for the new CNC table and this is it. I ended up um, doing what I was planning to do and to use these three parts here um, to make up the tool holder. Oops, that goes on the other way. And uh, these three parts actually combine to form one big part. Um, there's the benefit that when I'm done and everything fits, I can combine the two black parts and uh, the red part uh, will stay separate because I needed to um, fix down the uh, z-axis rod. Um, I've got enough clearance between the z-axis rod and the back parts um, so I can tighten down whatever tool I want to put on there. Um, I still have some clearance um, to the workbench so I can do uh, small things. I will have to rework um, a bit of the uh, um, of the threaded rod that goes in here but for a start I'm pretty happy with the layout and um, once it's all put together um, this is how it looks. Now as you can see I've begun using red filament. Red filament means that I'm out of black and uh, that happened pretty quickly but I went through quite a number of iteration of parts and also I did some other prints which most of them, well most of them failed <laughs> and then a printer failed and then another printer failed and uh, right now I'm, uh, I've got one of the printers back working again and everything's gonna take a bit longer but let's have a look at this first um, Actually, the base part didn't change a lot. Um, it fits very well. Uh, the threaded rod is uh, attached here by a nut um, and attached up here by a nut, um, which gives it uh, very much resistance um, against backlash or play. Um, there's a bearing down here. Um, this nut is uh, right now um, fastened with uh, super glue and uh, these two are just um, uh, turned against each other to um, to fix it down. Um, there are some mounting holes for the stepper assembly which is supposed to come up here. I will be using um, a small stepper for a start which means that I won't have a lot of force on this but um, just for the beginning I think it's okay. Um, it also means that the z-axis will move very slowly. There is absolutely no play uh, in, the, in the tool holder itself. It is um, it's on very beautifully. Um, the threaded rod turns very easily. Uh, I have about uh, two centimeters of uh, movement on the z-axis which is uh, okay. The whole part is very small and looks very slender and uh, makes a very good impression just by the look of it and uh, it still fits on the same tool holder. It is uh, tightened down by a screw and uh, the screw uh, locks all the parts against the, each other and they can't move. And uh, when these parts are done and I'm happy with them, I'm going to uh, pull them apart a little bit like this and I'm going to put some acetone in between there and uh, push them back together and just let it settle and glue them together. Um, I've done that in the past and that works really good. 
Uh, I will continue to make the uh, motor uh, to put the stepper on top of here. I do not plan to use a um, Z-axis end switch for a start. Um, I still have the option to put it on, but uh, in my experience it works better when you uh, manually zero your Z-axis and uh, work from there. Or I might put a uh, a probe on the on the bed so the axis can zero itself. Um, let's see how that goes. <clears throat> so for this video, it's already it. Um, it looks very nice. I'm pretty happy with this part. It's uh, very heavy, and uh, I'll continue working. And once I'm done, I'll report back for today. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.